Well, I fully understand what you're saying, and I agree with you. But the problem is, there is so much misconception about the topic of uh, EIN only. Business credit cards and uh, loans out there. Then in today's conversation, what I want to do, I want to teach people how to properly, how to successfully fill out an application for an EIN only business credit card or a loan. Don't go anywhere if you're interested, and I think you are interested. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Suited Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as terrific as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. In today's conversation, I want to clarify, I want to put to silence, I want to put to rest all the confusion, all the legitimate doubts, all the le legitimate uh, questioning that goes around uh, EI and only business credit cards and loans. So I'm going to show you how to successfully fill out an application. And uh, this video, we're doing this video because there is, uh, there have been a lot of questions about our last videos about the same topic. So for instance, as you can see on the screen, we had people who said, oh, clickbait, Capital One does not allow application without such security number as Amex and Chase. And another viewer said, Costco and uh, Citibank card will not work if I don't add my SSN, my social security number. We had another viewer who said, you will not get a major business credit card without a personal guarantee. I don't know what this guy is saying. This show is, again, meant to put to silence, put to rest all those doubts because all those uh, comments are wrong. And we have done research. We have the facts. I'm, and I'm going to show this to you in today's conversation. Now, this video is sequential to other videos we have already published on the subject. So uh, if you haven't already, go watch those videos. So thousands of viewers have loved watching them. And in aggregate, we have an average watch time of 94% on those videos. So people actually love those, the, the videos. They learn a lot from it. And they are actually uh, finding value in those videos. For example, you have a how to get a business credit card with EIN only. How to get a business loan with EIN only. The top 10 business credit cards using EIN only. How to get an EIN only high limit business credit card from a credit union. And we have 10 rare EIN only business credit cards from credit unions with low APRs and high limits. So this is a constellation of uh, videos they have done very well on our channel. People love them. People are learning from them. And it's very important to, to, to remember that. Now, I also want to thank from the bottom of my heart and my whole team. The whole team wants to thank a viewer by the username of uh, C.A.N.D. who inspired this video. We fully appreciate it. I mean, thanks so much. And CN, if you are out there watching this video, we are grateful. The whole team is grateful to you. You know who you are, okay? And uh, one thing I want to say here is that in general, we encourage all viewers to leave comments and ask questions. And we read and respond to every single comment. And please, share topic ideas you'd like us to cover. And we certainly see, will see how to make things happen, okay? And in this video, we'll answer all questions that viewers have left on, uh, on our videos covering EIN only business credit especially the thorny issue of a uh, social security number on an EIN only business credit card and loan applications. Okay. It's very important. And I, so I'm showing you on the screen right now, the skeleton of today's show. I'm going to debunk some myths about EIN only business credit. I'm going to explain to you why people fail to get approved. We'll review an application form. I'll show you how to successfully apply for an EIN only business credit card or loan and what to do post application. That part is, critical as well all right before we actually start i just want to debunk some myths about ein only business loans and credit cards first people say business lenders don't like extending ein only business credit that's not true this is far from the truth basically you have to understand that the uh businesses i mean lenders rather they are in the business of making money People are saying you cannot get that type of credit without personal guarantee. That's not true. Lenders do extend and they do want to extend business loans and they approve business credit cards every single day in this country. This is how they make money. 
They are in the business of working around money, so they want to make money. Myth number two, EIN only business credit cards and business loans do exist. They, they don't exist. They do exist. Okay. It's easier to get them than you think. Thousands of business owners get them every single month. And uh, the, the third myth is that people believe that there is uh, some kind of restriction around the uh, around EIN only business loans. Again, this is not this is just a myth. There is no restriction. You just got to know how to play the game. You got to know how to play the ball. That's all. All right. You don't have to be uh, making uh, millions of dollars every year in uh, revenue to qualify for that. No, you have to know the rules of the game. OK, as a matter of fact, we uh, were showing you right now on the screen. There was a, a recent SBA report, SBA standing for uh, Small Business Administration. Uh, so the report said that only 15 to 20 percent in business funding was extended in terms of credit cards and loans as of December 2019. So what I'm trying to say here is that the potential is there for you to get an EIN only business credit card or business loan. Business lenders have massive amounts of cash. I'm speaking billions of dollars, tens of billions of dollars, hundreds of billions of dollars. And those that money is sitting on their bit on their balance sheets. And they need to unload this dough to credit worthy business borrowers. Credit worthy. That's the key word here. So so myth number one, myth number two, myth number three. We want to put those myths to rest. We want to silence the, the, the confusion around those uh, the, 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 those uh, thinking processes once and forever. We also have another myth, which is you will not get a major business credit card without a personal guarantee. Again, this is also incorrect. It is not true. In this country, every day, according to our research and according to many, many, many experts and business owners that we spoke to, before the show and uh, even before way before the show we have seen that hundreds of business borrowers on credit cards and loans do get approved without collateral or personal guarantee and myth number five ein only means you apply only with your ein and there is no social security number involved in the application process this is a big one this is a biggie and and uh, and we've seen this a lot now let me just clarify things here on an EIN only business loan or a business credit card application, of course, you need to input your social security number. Lenders use this, this data to identify who is behind the, the business or the application process. And this has to do with something called AML laws, anti-money laundering laws. In this country, I mean, I'm showing you right now, we have uh, snapshots from the law if you are interested if you have nothing to do on a saturday afternoon and you want to dig a little deeper go to the treasury uh, treasury website and you can read about it you can read about all the regulations that turn around that revolve around aml and i'm showing you another snapshot that comes from uh, fincen.gov which is the uh, the agency that takes care that tracks this sort of uh, fraudulent transactions okay this is a uh, literature you can actually uh, per use if you are free on a Saturday afternoon or Sunday afternoon. So my point is that unless you have a big corporation raking in tens of millions of dollars or billions of dollars every year or every month, you're going to need to input your social security number. It is strictly for identification purposes. Lenders use it in their decision making process. If you have not prepared a compelling application, in other words, they will start using uh, your, your social if you haven't given them other options not to do so, you have to understand, folks, lenders are in the business of making money with money. So they are basically covering their ass. They're covering their ass in proper English. They are doing what they're doing risk mitigation, risk prevention. So my point here is that unless you give them, um, they, they want to make sure if they extend cash to you, you, you will be able to repay them back. So if you are a small business somewhere in, uh, in, in Austin, Texas, or somewhere in Teaneck, New Jersey, you can't just expect them to uh, give you the cash either on a business loan or a business credit card simply because you have an EIN. It's too easy. So they need to uh, mitigate risk. They need to uh, especially default risk. So this is why they're asking your social in case your business were to default. I want to talk to you now about why people fail to get approved for EIN only business loans and credit cards this sounds this rings a bell right maybe it's you maybe it's somebody you know 
and they, they have uh, sometimes they know that they have the answer to that question sometimes they don't i'm going to give you five reasons why five major reasons why people get denied for ein only business loans and credit cards first the people fill the application online or on the phone you never do that if you want to get an ein only business loan or credit card you got to go to a branch you have to speak to someone so people fill the application online or on the phone and uh, there are and you have so what happened here is that when things when you fill when you fill out the application online and you file everything online you're being taken care of by a robot things are done algorithmically things are done automatically there is an algorithm that basically presses at everything don't think for a second that there's someone at the chase or a capital one or or a city bank that just uh, takes your data and send it to the credit bureaus and they get the data back no they do have a back office but everything nowadays is done algorithmically okay reason number two if the business has a weak ein for example low credit or no credit Simply because you have an EIN doesn't mean that you are going you are going to get an EIN only business credit card or business loan. If your EIN is is weak, you won't qualify. Again, it makes sense. Going back to what I said before, business lenders they look at spectra of risks and they decide whether or not they want to uh, take on a specific risk from a specific borrower. It's all about covering their ass it's all about risk prevention it's all about risk mitigation this is how the whole thing works the third reason if the business's financials are weak if you have balance sheets that are showing uh, there are sh they are in the red if you have uh, a negative uh, equity or you have some problems with the cash flow statements those things are going to affect your ability to get qualified for an EIN only business loan or credit cards Okay, or if uh, the income statement is not is not showing a rosy a rosier future or a rosier six months down the road, of course. Uh, the fourth element that really uh, disqualifies people is if they don't have a a compelling business plan and business pitch. This is very important. You got to show that your business is legit and that you are you are in there to win it. And the, f the fifth element is that th they fail to show on the application form that the business is legit, that they have licenses and permits, and they, most importantly, they have passed something called the segregation test. You got to show the lender that the business is, se is uh, separate, is uh, segregated from your personal life through uh, its operational means, financial, legal, fiscal, and contractual. And uh, having a startup or a a business with no sales does not disqualify you for an EIN only business credit card or loan. This is very important. There are several tactics you can use to get the loan or credit card you need. And we actually covered this topic on two videos. For example, how to get a $1 million unsecured business loan with bad credit and no sales. We have a five step plan. You might want to double check that video. Another one is how to get a business loan for a new business $1 million for business loans for startups. Let's now review application forms or EIN only business loans and credit cards, business loans and credit cards. OK, so the the application forms, whether you go to a bank, whether you go to an online lender, whether you go to a credit union, the applications forms are analogous. They're identical for both EIN only business loans and EIN only business credit cards. Because if you really think about it, those two are both forms of business financing. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go through you very quickly through the application from for a credit union, a traditional lender and an alternative lender. OK, let's start with a, a credit union EIN only loan application form. So this is a courtesy of a consumer's credit union. As you can see, uh, we have uh, four snapshots. So this is the first snapshots. They want to ask you about the, some basic information about the business, right? The second snapshot, they ask uh, other information about the business and yourself. Third snapshot, they're still asking for more information. And the fourth snapshot, basically continuing uh, to ask more information and asking for you to certify some information and providing some guarantee if needed. Let's now talk about the bank EIN only credit card application form a simple and this comes from the city business advantage platinum select mastercard so we have again a series of uh, snapshots 
So the first snapshot. And then you have the second snapshot asking for information about the business. The third snapshot. The fourth snapshot. Again, I'm, go I'm just going to go quickly through this. The fifth snapshots. I'm just giving you an idea of what a, a loan application or credit card application looks like for an EIN only credit arrangement. The fifth snapshot, where again they ask more information about yourself, the business. The sixth snapshot, okay, more information about the business. The seventh snapshot, and snapshot number eight. So where they ask, they give you information about the loan or credit card application, and then uh, they want you to certify. Now let's talk about a bank EIN only credit card application form, and this is from Chase. So the, the other one, the other one was from uh, Citibank. Now let's talk about the one from Chase. Okay, for Chase we have here, you can see the process is uh, identical so the first snapshot number one was showing you they just asking you about uh, some basic information about the business snapshot number two they pay attention to a lot of things including uh, the address you know basic information address revenue that kind of stuff snapshot number three asking more information about the business and the borrower the primary borrower of course I'm, I'm going to address the uh, social security number information later on, but they will ask that also. Snapshot number four, you have more information being asked about the application form in general. This is for a credit card, so, you know. And snapshot number five, this is where for Chase, you, wanna, you need to uh, provide more information. You need to certify. You need to uh, just tell them that everything is legit. So, so far, I've shown you the application forms for, for a traditional lender, so Citibank, this is for MasterCard, a credit card. We have an EIN-only loan from a credit union, Consumers Credit Union, another EIN-only business credit cards from Chase. And now I want to show you an online lender, EIN-only credit card application form, actually a loan application form, not credit card, loan application form. So the online lender in this case is lending tree and you can see that uh, their process is a little different it's more what i call user friendly it's more a q a a question and answer but again we have a series of uh slides to show you you can see slide number one where they just um asking more information about uh you slide number two you can see here slide number two they're asking you uh, what are you getting financing for right just need to know that Number three, they want to have uh, more information about the timing, how quickly uh, you need the money. S slide number four, they, they want to know more about when did you start your business. So if you are a startup or if you have been established for a while, they want to know that. Then they want to know your annual revenue. So you can see that so far they have been focusing on the business. Now they are switching now to onto the individual. So what's your credit score as a person individually? And they want to know the name of the business. They want to clarify the kind of industry you're in. Then now they want, they want to know more about the business address. And they ask more information about you, yourself, so your name. The best way to reach you. And they want you to provide some uh, email address so that you can be contacted. So what's my point here? My point here is that the, it's important to understand all the kind of the kind of information that you're being asked on a EIN only business credit card or business loan. So, what's the bottom line here? The bottom line here is that in a, in a on an EIN only business loan or business credit card, the lender wants to know about the business, its operational history, when, uh, when was the business created what kind of industry the business in, annual revenue, this kind of information. So we call this kind of information intrinsic information. And then now they want to they want to have more information about extrinsic, exogenous information. In other words, what kind of industry is the business in? Is that industry uh, trending higher or lower? Right. So when you do this kind of analysis from a lender's perspective, 
it all goes down to what I said earlier about risk mitigation. You're looking at risk spectra and deciding, deciding what kind of risk spectrum you want to focus on. And uh, the lender also wants to know about the individual behind the application. This is why this is a thorny issue that people are just, uh, oh, they're just flabbergasted that they thought this was an EIN only business loan or credit card application. Then they're being asked for their social security number. Of course, you got to provide that. This is for AML purposes. This is for identification purposes. In case your business has a weak EIN, in case your business has a weak constellation of financials, then the lender will have to resort to your personal credit if you haven't done things right. And uh, lenders also want to know what the funds will be used for, whether it is a credit card or a loan. They want to know whether you're going to use you're going to use the money for expansion, for inventory, for uh, for other stuff. It's not about curiosity here. It's about it's it's part of the underwriting process. They want to know that by giving you that money. If you are investing, for example, in inventory, they want to make sure that this this investment makes sense, not only from a cyclical perspective, not only from uh, an, a sector perspective, but also from the uh, perspective of your own business financials. In other words, does it make sense to pour money into inventory where you need money for something else? And the lender also wants to know about guarantees. You can, you probably remember that when we uh, reviewed uh, the credit union, the consumers credit union, they were asking for uh, pr who is the guarantor, and also in some credit cards they might want, they might ask for guarantees. But again, when it comes to guarantees, you will only be asked guarantees if you haven't done your homework right, you haven't solidified your application right, your business application right, so that the lender wants to, the lender is only looking at your EIN, and instead. He or she is looking at something else, your personal credit. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Security Kiwi Show. I'm still showing you how to properly apply for an EIN only business credit card and or business loan okay how do you successfully apply for that what are the steps and there are 10 steps and uh, I, I want to actually show you how to do it how to get things done quickly okay step number one you want to apply at a financial institution you currently have a relationship with very important and by relationship i'm speaking either at the personal level or business level so you can have everything from uh, checking account, savings accounts, loans, lines of credit. It's important to have to cultivate that relationship because they know you already. They've seen your transactional history. You're not going to lie to them. They know what's going on. They know they know what kind of balance, they kind of what kind of cash you have in your account. So this is important to only only apply. So if you don't have a relationship with Chase, do not try to get the Chase Inc business credit card. No. If you have a relationship uh if you have a relationship with Capital One, then you might, you might want to apply for the Spark Cash. Number one, apply with the institution you already know. Number two, you want to run your business as a legit business. Pay attention to the five criteria in the segregation test I spoke about earlier. Remember, do you remember that? <laughs> you probably forgot, right? So the segregation test, I'm just going to quickly remind you. It, it means that you are running your business operationally, financially, legally fiscally and contractually as a separate entity for example fiscally means what it means that you are filing 1065 you are filing 1120 you're not filing uh, 1040 and having schedule c because one thing i didn't say so far and i've said it other in other videos it's impossible to qualify for an ein only business loan or business credit card with uh, by being a sole proprietorship you gotta incorporate you have to have a company a legit company step number three you want to print and fill out the application so the application that you have that you found online you got to print it out and you have to fill it do not file online or over the phone you got to go to a branch for that number four you want to write a compelling business plan okay you want to craft a persuasive 10 page pitch so you want to summarize and elevate the business plan. It's important to have the, to have a business plan and a pitch because a pitch is just a recap version of the business plan. Okay. Now, how do you get uh, a business plan done? How do you write it in a very cheap way? 
First, you can you can do it yourself DIY. You can hire a local business consultant. You can hire a freelancer online, right? There are several uh, platforms. For example, we have Fiverr. We have Design Hall. We have LinkedIn Profinder. We have People Per Hour. We have Guru. We have freelance writing gigs. We have Freelancer. We have Flex Jobs. We have TopTel. We have Upwork. And those you can get someone to get a business plan done for $150, $200. You can also use business plan software. For example, you can use Biz Plan, Live Plan, and Endloop. All right, this is important, folks. Do not be cheap. Don't be stingy here. You want to invest in a solid business plan and pitch so that because it's really worth it. Imagine if you get a business credit card, an EIN only business credit card, a business loan for a, a very uh, at a good APR, you would have amortized all the cost that you have put in the business plan. It's important. Include projected data in your financials. And those are called forward looking statements. Those are very frequent in business presentations. So this is something cool. Please don't lie. Never lie on a business loan or a credit card application. Make sure your numbers make sense and in line, they are in line with your business's historical data. Okay, very, very important. And also, one thing I want to say here is that you want to show software data to the lender if possible from QuickBooks, Wave, or Zero. Transparency is key here. Okay. Number six, you want to go to a physical branch and you want to speak with the rep. Okay, some viewers have commented saying stuff like clickbait, Capital One does not allow application without your security number as Amex and Chase, right? Or Costco and City Business uh, will not work if I don't add my SSN. When you speak with the rep, you will know that you indeed can, can apply for this kind of credit card without a social. You cannot, you, you can't rather, you can't. It's important to understand that when you have a, a solid business plan and pitch, you are conveying to the rep credibility, preparation, legit business. You are taking the lender seriously. You're taking the credit card issuer seriously. So they're putting their focus on your EIN, on your business entity. All right. And uh, we also have seen another viewer who said you will not get a major credit card without a business. You not you never you will not get a major credit card without um, a personal guarantee again and he said i don't know what this guy is saying again unfortunately and uh, respectfully we say that this person is wrong you can indeed get a credit card with a business credit card without a personal guarantee step number uh seven you want to discuss the application at length with the rep you want to answer any question he or she may have step number eight you want to get a confirmation from the rep that the application is indeed for an EIN only business credit card or loan. That way, when you have the conversation, you can gauge the odds of approval. You know, you know that the whole thing about gut feeling. This is where you can actually see, you can actually feel it. Like, oh, wow, you know, I think I, I'm going to get this loan. Yes, I feel it, or I don't feel it. And uh, step number eight, you want to uh, no. Step number nine. You want to lock or freeze your personal credit with all three credit bureaus. The whole thing here is, folks, we're trying to avoid a hard pull, right? Because the last thing you want is just uh, getting a hard pull over and over and over. So you want to unlock, you want to lock or unlock your TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian reports. And you can do so from your phone or computer. Remember, there is a difference between a security freeze and a lock because a security freeze is designed to prevent credit loans and services from being approved in your name without your consent but the thing is that they may also delay or interfere with or prohibit the timely approval of any subsequent request or application you make regarding new credit loans or services so go with a lock a lock you can unlock it or lock it just like that asap a freeze takes more time all right and there are three ways so you can go to uh you you can go to experian or you have a service called experian credit works and you can have uh do you have the premium that is free for seven days then you pay 24.99 per month actually you can have it for one month and then uh, cancel it afterwards once you get the loan or credit card you're looking for just cancel the service you can do the same for equifax the cool thing about equifax is that the lock service is free completely free at equifax all right and then you can do the same thing at transunion 
TransUnion will cost you a twenty four ninety five a month. But again, that's just uh, what it is. But this kind of service, you can cancel it after one month. You don't have to have a, a new subscription. Consider it an investment. The same way you had to hire someone to write a business plan for you, this is an investment. Step number 10, you want to file the application at the branch. At the branch, folks, don't file it over the phone. Please do not. Very important. Another reminder, include projected data in your financials. Forward-looking statements are very frequent, as I said earlier, in business presentations. Okay, if you look at, uh, you don't, you, you don't want to lie, but you, you also want to put forward numbers that make sense. I want to talk to you now what you should do post application. So you follow all the steps that I gave you and uh, what should you do now? You want to promptly provide extra documentation to the lender if so requested. If they ask you for questions, they want clarifications, don't ghost them. No, you want to you want to re reply promptly, right? You want to follow up on the application process, either through a phone or a general email reminder. They'll let you know anyway. And you want to get your e and once you do that, you know, if everything goes fine, if everything checks out, guess what? You will get your EIN only business credit card alone approved. Now, what should you do if your application is rejected? Because not everything is rosy. Things happen. Stuff happens. You probably have uh, some situations, you, something going on in your personal business that uh, will prevent you, will preclude you from being approved. Let's let's explore what you can do if you get denied the first time around. Don't panic, right? There is hope. There's a lot of things you can do. First, an application for an EIN only business loan or business credit card may be rejected because of application issues. Because the rejection can be because uh, something didn't, you, you didn't fill out the, the form completely. But normally, if you spoke with a rep, if you have been in conversation with the rep at the credit card, at the bank, or the credit union, if you've been establishing that back and forth with that rep all along, they should have caught whatever mistake was on the application, which is why I say do not apply online. So it could be application issues. It could be business issues. So the rejection may stem for, from uh, business issues because, as you can understand, banks and, and other credit card issuers and uh, lenders can be conservative when handing out credit lines, loans, and credit cards. So if you are giving people the ability to spend money, you'll be careful too, right? Think about it. You probably have kids right now, and uh, you, when you're giving the pocket money to your kids, you are very careful about how they spend the cash. So it's the same thing. Again, banks and lenders and credit unions and all the constellation of uh, lenders, business lenders, they are in the business of mitigating risk. You might also be de denied because of credit issues. There's nothing you can do about it. You have low credit or bad credit. You just have to work it out. But it's always, it's always important to contact the lender to ask more information, the lender or the credit card, uh, credit card issuer to have more information, to uh, find ways to prove that your business is credit worthy. And it's very important to ask nicely. Don't be uh, rude on the phone because you were denied. No, no. Think about the long term. Do not burn bridges. All right, folks. This was it for today's conversation. So I was explaining to you how to correctly, how to properly, how to successfully fill out an application for an EIN only business credit cards, business, business credit card or loan. And in this show, I uh, strived, I actually made an effort to debunk some myths about EIN only business credit. I explained to you why people fail to get approved for EIN only business credit. I reviewed with you at length different types of application forms for EIN only business credit from a, a credit union, from a traditional lender such as uh, Citibank and uh, Chase, and also from an alternative lender or an online lender, rather, Lending Tree. I also explain to you how to successfully apply for an EIN only business credit card or business loan. I give you the 10 steps and I also explain to you what to do post application. I hope this really helps. I hope this really uh, clarifies stuff for a lot of people that this show 
is able to put to rest all the doubts, the confusion, is able to silence all the questioning going on right now about business uh, loans and business credit cards based on EIN only. If you have questions, if you have uh, comments, please put them below. We will be very happy to uh, continue the conversation with you on our page. Thank you so much for your attention, folks. I really appreciate it. I will see you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. Marvelous.